everybody! Welcome back to It's Just Plastic. My name is Hal. That's right, you've seen the thumbnail. You know what amazing cool figure I'm reviewing today. Bam! There it is. It's the 30 DLX Iron Man Mark 43 Battle Damaged Limited Edition. From the Infinity Saga, Avengers Age of Ultron. That's right. This one is a limited edition. Let's see if I can get that in there. There you go. Cool. I got that to shine there. Limited edition battle damage figure. That's right. There's the authentic, authentic uh, little little hologram there that's right dlx collectible figure so this figure is about six to seven inches tall uh fits great with all the other uh figures uh, i'll do a comparison with a marvel legend uh just at the end of the video so you guys can see but uh it is a little bigger he is a little bigger um i have uh a couple of three zero figures i only have one uh i have two uh the dlx Three zero figures. I have um, the Mark Forty Three regular, and then I have the Hulk Buster, and then Iron Man should be my next review. I mean, uh, not Iron Man. Iron Patriot should be my next review after this one. Uh, he should be in here any day now, so I cannot wait. There's a bag of the box. There's a bunch of a bunch of gibberish uh, barcode. I don't know if you can do anything with it, but there you go. So, all right, let's go ahead and open him up. But first. I got a website. It's just plastic.com. Links for this item down below. Uh, Instagram down below. Anything else down below. Just go over there. Music at the very beginning of the video down below. That's right. Down below. Get all your information about this video down below. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Bam! I had to show you something real quick. Bam! Look at that. Whoa, man. There it is. There he is. Get a sneak peek. It comes with several sets of hands and a base and lots of cool stuff. Now I had to buy this one second hand. Unfortunately, I did not want to. And I already see that I'm missing a couple of items. So I ordered online and it seemed it was taking forever to get here. And I found this one on eBay. That's right, I, but I got a good deal for him because he was opened. The only thing he's missing that I can tell is his instruction manual and the warranty card, which I know I should fill them out. I, I just, I haven't done it yet. And uh, makes me upset that I don't have it. But the good thing is, is I already have Mark 43 and this Mark 43 damaged limited edition should be exactly the same thing. So should not have any issues if i do i can look at that one all right there you go he has a really cool set of accessories comes with a couple of uh kind of uh, what do you want to call it fire uh pieces let's look at this one so you got two that are exactly the same on there look pretty neat just have a little small peg in. I'll show you where those peg in here in a little bit. And then it's got some longer ones. Pretty cool. Just another little small peg in. And then one little piece of plastic. What do you think that goes to? Just a tiny little piece of plastic. Huh. No clue. I have to look that up, maybe. All right, here's the stand for the base. I haven't used the base yet. I didn't use the base on my last one either. And they stand up great. Like these figures are stiff, they stand up great by themselves. But look at that. Look at that stand. Plenty of, uh, plenty of maneuverability. Get the pose you want. Does not raise or lower. So whatever you got is what you got comes with a cool Iron Man Mark 43 base. Pretty nifty. Kind of sucks that it doesn't say battle damage or something to kind of show you which one you have. 
Unless the person I bought this from gave me the wrong one. This is a good possibility at this point. Alright, so let's go ahead and, and look at some of this version's accessories. So he comes with, uh, man, let's see here. One, two, three, four, and then five sets of hands. And then he comes with two uh, extra pieces that go on his forearms that look like the missiles. Oh, and by the way, I did a little research. That piece, that was that little piece of plastic that was with the uh, stand, that's actually for the batteries to remove the batteries. I, I got better things to do that with, but that's what that was for. Um, here's the first set of hands at the very bottom. Pretty cool. Looks like so you can uh, do the blast effects. Let's see here. And the short ones are for the hands. There you go. Pretty cool. Iron Man is so cool. Who doesn't love Iron Man, right? Come on now. All right. And here's another one. So this one, so this is the bottom one. This is the next one. This is the next one, the second one up. So these fingers are like out, out. And then these are kind of curled. That's the only difference I can see in these two hands is the finger um, curl in the second set of hands. And then these hands are, the, you can't insert the, uh, the blast effect into. So you can just have the look. So it doesn't have the hole there. And then the last set of hands is the same thing. Uh, no blast effect in, uh, you can't put the blast effect in there in the hand it's pretty all pretty cool cool and then um, this one is obviously the closed fist hands and then this piece right here is to look like the the widowmaker comes out of there pretty cool this one is damaged has some damage to it. So let's go ahead and look at Mr. Iron Man himself, and I'll show you how to input these here in a second. This one has no damage to it. Uh, all the rest of the hands look kind of similar. May have a little bit of uh, damage to one or two, you know, just kind of kind of giving that vibe, but overall they still look pretty much the same. No uh, no drastic difference in the hands. Just this, this piece right here is different uh, from side to side. So there's Mr. Iron Man, Mr. Tony Stoke. Pretty cool. I think he looks great. He looks amazing. Look at the look at the battle damage. Look at that. Just all sorts. Got it over here in the these. Now they did kind of. I'd like to think that uh, Three Zero did this and not the person before me, but uh, it does have some dirt look effect to it. So you can see it in the balls here, in the ball joint. Uh, 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 in the top of the legs, the hips, you can see kind of a little bit of a, a dirt look. So before I go too far, he does light up in his chest. You just push this down, lights up. The uh, head is a little more difficult. You actually have to slide this back and then push the button. But he lights up too, the head does. Pretty cool. I'll put his head back on. You can kind of see what he goes at. There you go. Pretty neat, pretty neat. I wish there was an easier way to turn the head lights on, but no big deal. Comes right on, right off. Let's kind of see that little details all through there. There's the legs, see a little bit of damage. I'm going to tell you right now, for this being a limited edition, 
and being a special, I really wish the uh, there would have been more to it because, like, even in the face, I don't know if that's the previous owner or a uh, manufactured defect, like around the mouth, or if that is part of it. That's the same way with the dirt. I'm pretty sure it is part of it. But let's see here. These open. The shoulders move way out of the way if you need to. Cool, cool. That doesn't open. So there is a piece right here. That's where your stand keys in, and it is his butt. Right in his boot. You just remove that and plug that in. Uh, he does have a. Oh, look, that moves down. Wow. That's to kind of show you that he can uh, swivel all around in this area with that, with that joint right there. So it's pretty cool. He's got pretty good articulation. Um, very impressed with these uh, three zero figures. They're very heavy. They're die cast. Most of them are. Uh, most of the pieces are die cast. There are a little bit of. There is a little bit of plastic in it, stuff like that. But for the most part, it's all uh, die cast. So they are pretty heavy. Um, play, uh, play imaginative. Uh, Super alloy was the first ones I know of to do some. Um, Heavy duty Iron Man like that. I may be wrong about that, but they were six inch figures. I, have, I do actually have a couple of them for sale right now. Uh, if you're interested in an Iron Patriot or a War Machine, plug. Uh, but um, I didn't really. I like these better, and uh, you know they're good figures. Don't get me wrong. Play Imaginative made some good figures, but I really like these uh, three zero figures much better. So this has got some maneuverability to it as well. I just moved it. It's to move out of the way when you... So you can move the legs down. So you can move the legs down, kind of twist them down and get a little more maneuverability out of them. This piece kind of moves out of the way too for extra maneuverability so you can kind of tuck it in there make it look like it's say depending on the pose you want to get tuck that back up tuck that back up there you go but anyways yeah they're really really nice pieces these pieces move down here you got this moves you got all sorts of stuff that moves. I'm probably going to miss several things too. Uh, let me show you how these things key in. Where's the parts? So you just basically take your fingernail and pop that up, and then see it just comes right out. And then you just take the tab and the insert and put them in there. And now you got you a Widowmaker. Just like that. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright, this is my personal figure, so I'm going to be very careful with him. But I will go over articulation real quick. So, articulation of the neck. Or the head. There's up. There's down. Pretty good. Let's look at some. Pretty sure he can. No, no 360. No, not at all. Stops right there. That's as far as you can get his head. Side to side. Oh, wow. Something is stopping that from rotating because you can get more. So, look at that. Wow. Look at that shoulder. <laughs> so, there you go. Up. Yep. You get this crazy maneuverability out of these pieces right here. 
That's what McFarland tries to accomplish with that BS that they do. Uh, let's see here. He does have an upper bicep swivel. He does have a lot of maneuverability in the elbows. Slides out like that. It's freaking awesome. And then he has uh, just some not really ball joints or anything, but his uh, just kind of a, a plug-in wrist, so it kind of moves all over the place. Uh, these things do get in the way a little bit at the back of the hands, so uh, just to be aware of that. Let's see here. Ab crunch. Pretty good. Back crunch. Oh, more of an ab crunch. I like that. Good. Finally. Another thing you can do with these. I don't know why. Oh, you can't do that. Oh. So another thing you can do is for the Mark 43 is you can pop this apart and then you can take these out. Then you can also take uh, the arm out right here and that's to go inside the uh, Hulk Buster. So you just take this side, that side, you take this side out as well and then you can slide him in the Hulk Buster. So it's kind of up to you. I don't know. My Hulk Buster's got a few issues to it. I bought that one brand new and something about the weather is getting to it. I'm not sure or something, the humidity, something's getting to affecting it out here in my shop. I don't know what's going on with it, but uh, I'll probably be doing a video of uh, just to let you guys know uh, for other people that want to purchase one. So uh, anyways, so let's go to waist swivel. Waste swivels up here, so he's got a. That's it. There's no lower swivel down here. None whatsoever. Let's see. Got legs. Oh, I'm not going out. No out. <laughs> no out that way. None whatsoever. I could have swore he swiveled that way. Yeah, there it goes. All right, there he goes. I, it was just stiff. Oh, I told you these things are stiff. Okay, and then he has very a lot of flexibility, double jointed, I would say, in his knees. And then he has another ball connection, but he's got crazy articulation. So you can see right there. So there's really cool. And then he has toe crunch. Not a lot, but he does have some. And then you got this piece that connects down here. If you wanted to on the base. <laughs> Pretty cool. I like it. Let's get the... Uh, do a little side comparison, side by side comparison of the non damaged and the battle damaged. So here's the non battle damaged right here, obviously, and this is the battle damaged. Kind of show you what the difference is. Um, let's just set them down side by side. You can kind of see that from there. So, one of the first things I noticed is you got battle damage all up in here. They did make it a look a little dirty. I uh, gave it a dark wash on all the gold. Uh, the boots, there's a little scuffing all through here of the red paint uh, around the mask, that kind of stuff. Um, basically, this one's nowhere near as shiny as this one is. The unbattle damaged one is not is real shiny. Looks brand new. This one's definitely got um, some like a black wash or something to that effect kind of dulls uh kind of dulls out all the real shiny gold and red and all that other stuff i like this one but i really 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 like this one so um if you just are a completist sure let me show you a a, a marvel legend just so you guys can see the size comparison so as you can see is um Marvel Legend is definitely about, this is 6 inch, so these are 7 inch. I, I thought it was close. So yeah, definitely got a little bit of height difference.
Overall, I'm still very impressed with Three Zeros figures. I really, really enjoy them. <sighs> this one kind of uh, is lackluster for me. Like, I was expecting to be like super wowed by this figure when I got it in, and I wanted to see more battle damage to it. I know that it probably... I haven't went through Ultron, uh, Age of Ultron. I haven't went through the movie to see if it's like, oh, well, they just did screen accurate, you know, something to that effect. Um, but battle damage, I'm thinking battle damage. Like, you know, like he got beat. I still think it looks like a good figure. Uh, I'm still very impressed with everything. I love Three Zeros figures. I'll keep buying every one of them. Um, I will do a... Stay tuned for a follow-up of my uh, Hulkbuster figure, though. I've got issues with Hulkbuster, and I'm not happy about it. But uh, anyways, uh, other than that, I really enjoy these figures. You guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. You guys, take care. Have a good one. Remember, it's just plastic.